And one of the stories that I've come to know in the past week or so is your adventure at the your adventures at the Sugar Shack in Lake Geneva. Just right. a couple weeks ago, right? Mm-hmm. Why don't you take us through that story? All right, so me, Jaren, and Denver, we go to the Sugar Shack just... We impulsed it pretty much. We we're going to go to the bar, and they're like, we'll go to the Sugar Shack. So they each get $100. I get 200 And this is my first time ever at a strip club. Oh, shit. On what day of the week, mind you? Wednesday. A fucking Wednesday. Man. We got there like... 8.30 or so. Her yeah. and, and uh, Hogan. I don't know if you know. I don't know. So we're there. Then $20 a lap dance. I have $200. You know, get a few Oh, laps my dances. God. Mm-hmm. And, so um, so did they get any lap dances? Yeah, they. I think they were both out of money by the end of the night. Because you think about it, if they're just in 20s, that's five lap dances right there. But then there's a stage... That they rotate on after every two songs, so then you can just throw singles at them and they're just dancing on stage. Then a lap dance, you go up to the room, a little private room, and they grind on you for a song pretty much for $20. And they actually shorten the songs, I noticed, because some of the songs I listen to, they shorten them up. Oh, fuck. Were, any of the gir- were you falling for any of the girls there in the club? Were you catching feels? I wouldn't say that, but there were girls in the club who were like, I want to get a dance from her. So then, right when they come off the stage, I kind of went up to them, like, can I get a dance? Because there were a few girls where I was like, all right, I want her, you know. Yeah. What are you looking for in a stripper to get yourself a private dance? (laughs) I've never been to a strip club, so I don't know. Like, what did I want? What what was was your type? What were the ones that, describe me the ones that you were like, yeah, I want her to be hanging out with me. One girl was thick. She was a red bone. Okay. Explain to the audience what a red bone is. uh, Girls, black and white. And then her skin just has a, a tone to it where it almost could be a dark red, but that's probably not the actual definition. But so you're saying like, definition. was she like, was she like Indian then or is that what you're saying? No. No? no she was, she was she, just tan. Yeah, she was, she was definitely half black. Okay. But she was thick, which is what caught my attention. So Rory likes a thick girl for anybody there, anybody listening. Well, I like skinny girls too, but her thickness just kind of... It was catching your eye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's perfect. Um, so, okay, so how do you go about asking him for a dance? You say, hey, can I get a private dance or a lap dance? And then they take you up there. They usually will wait for the next song to play so you get the full song. Yeah. But you can obviously... They, if they start during the middle of the song, you still have to pay for the full half song. that's left. Yeah, wow. So Shitty. usually they'll... What they did was they started later after the song, but then they just sat there and talked to you until it started. Mm. And What like, do you oh. talk to a stripper about? That's what I thought was kind of weird, because then they're like, oh, where are you from? What's your name? They ask you your name first thing, usually. Damn. And then, where are you from? And then, I don't know, because you have alcohol in you, because you're at a strip club. That makes sense. It yeah, it's a bar, smaller, yeah. yeah. So, what, um, did you give them your real name? Yeah. What it, did she was she like oh Rory that's a great name a few of them were they said they hit you with that yeah oh, did you believe them yes and no because there there will be strippers or strippers that like they hang out at the bar if they're not doing anything or if they're not on stage or giving a lap dance usually they hang by the bar mm. and I remember I walked past one to get a drink to go to the bar yeah or go to the bar to get a drink excuse me and she's like nice ass Rory because I already told her my name because she was the first lap dance I got. Oh, okay. And then she smacked my ass as I walked by, and I'm like, huh. You think she was trying to hang out with you after work? At first, I kind of thought that, but then she said it to a few other people, so I'm like, oh, uh, maybe you're just trying to... I see what you're doing. You're trying to get me to pay you to have a dance, right? I mean, maybe she was mad that you got all the... She was. You said she was the first dance you got, so mm-hmm. maybe she was pissed seeing you get all those other dances, man. Very well could be. That could have been it. Um, Duncan Marshall stole one of my questions I had for you and asks, would you ever date a stripper? Could you? I think I I could. Yeah? Because that leads on into what I'm getting to. So after my 200 is gone, from just lap dances in the stage and alcohol, 
Oof, that's where he took the L. So. This is gonna, yeah, I feel like this story is gonna take a turn here. This is where it starts. So after my 200's gone, there's a champagne room, which is the highest up in the building, and it's 300 for 30 minutes, 600 for an hour. Unlimited dancing. So you're just up there for a half hour, an hour, mm -hmm. and they're dancing on you the whole time, and it's free drinks, unlimited drinks. Damn. But here's because I was I was getting thirsty after the lap dances. I paid for six or seven lap dances, and you have a oh hard on God. when you're getting a lap dance. I mean, I would yeah, I figured that's probably how that works. But so after you get a hard on seven times in a row, you're thirsty. All right. That's how that works. That's the science behind it. <laughs> seven bars. Science behind me in the story. <laughs> okay. So all of my, I'm like, damn. I want to get banged tonight the champagne room might happen hmm. so i had already taken 200 out that day go back to the atm at quick trip in lake geneva because they charge 10 percent for taking out so if i threw 300 oh my god it was 330 for the atm fee the fuck total with the yeah yeah and you gotta pay you have to pay cash yeah actually i don't even know i wonder if i would have said hey put it on my card yeah. Save me a trip from Quick Trip, but yeah. How the fuck did that. you get to Quick Trip if you were already, were you? Were, yeah. You figured it out. Yeah. You figured it I out. Drove. Right. <laughs> I drove. Oh, I don't <laughs> say that. You drove. It was before before the. We'll just pretend the two hundred dollars of. The yeah, before the champagne. Yeah. Room, so it's all good. Then I get three hundo. So I took out the limit of what I can take out in a, at an ATM. Hmm. Pay her the 300, get up there. Oh it's just dancing the whole time. Didn't get banged, obviously. Yeah. But Jaren and Denver were with me. Hogan had already left at that point. I'm like, so this is going to be 30 minutes. They were all out of money just sitting down there. I'm like, all right, I got a tab open. Go get whatever drinks you want on my tab because I'm going to be up in the champagne room, and I didn't want to see him unhappy while I'm up there having a good time. What you thought was going to be banged, yeah. And it was still a good time even though I didn't get banged, but that is why I could probably date a stripper just because, because they didn't bang someone? Pretty much. I think some of them do. Some of them do. Most don't. But So what did you do in the champagne room then? What was different than the regular lap dance? Was it just a 30-minute lap dance? Pretty much, and then free drinks. What kind of drinks did they have up there? Did you get some champagne? Actually, no. I didn't oh, even that's... ask. I just wanted my Red Bull and Crown Royal. That's fair. And uh, we did some shots, me and the stripper did, and... It's pretty good. I feel like, man, doing a 30-minute uh, lap dance, I feel like I would get pretty sweaty. Does she get sweaty? <laughs> no, but if you, think you get about sweaty? It, I'd get sweaty. If you think about it, those girls are in pretty good shape. I believe it. I definitely believe it. So then that brings 500 right there, 200 from lap dances in the stage, and then 300 for the champagne room. Yeah. Spent 130 on drinks, so I spent $630 there. On one night, dude. Mm -hmm. And you're and we were talking about this off air, and you're laid off right now. So yeah. that's a good chunk of change. Yeah, that that's literally two weeks of unemployment checks. Well, it was worth it. Was it worth it? For the lesson, yeah. Because I kind of learned from it. Yeah, it was worth it. But would I do it again and spend all that money? Fuck no. Will you be going back to the strip club anytime yeah. soon? Or I don't know how soon, but yeah. I'll be going back. Would you go back to the Sugar Shack specifically? Yeah, 100%. That's awesome. That's awesome.